Now, shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rocha Kodash, of the honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who rule well and labor in this word and doctrine. I'm uh, here with Brother Mashah as well. Shalom. So, <clears throat> we're going to do a video on this um, update on the M to the 8th to the R decay and uh, pursuing to Revelation 13 and 16. And this update on this. Choose the C to the R to the P, just to clarify. I can say that again, brother. It is the C to the H to the I to the P. And it's not sleeping with Edomites. It's not John 316. It's not spiritual. Mm -hmm. It's a physical thing that's um, actually being tested more right now. If it is, I mean, it's already, if it's, this video is on my channel. I'm not sure if, but I'm sure some videos as well, some very old witnesses of people already trying it, like being having it beta tested. And now we're seeing even more updates where this smaller company called the, uh, um, if I can even say it, dollar Incron. sign S Incron, you know, it's a, it's a smaller company than, than um, Elon Musk's company, you know, and Neuralink and whatnot. It's a smaller company. However, it's a, it's, um, it's now been given the green light by the World Health Organization. I'll do some testing on some, uh, I, believe, I believe it was six individuals, six different people are, are, are now. Are, you know? Can't. <laughs> Legit. It's spiritual, man. The whole thing is spiritual. Let's, let's read that. So this is Revelation 13 and 18, just at the bottom. Obviously, we'll go upload it in a bit. As here is wisdom, let him that hath understanding count out the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 600, three score, and six. And it is 660 and six. Mm -hmm. Common 666. That's, his, that's the spirit, that's the vibration him operate in. And ultimately, that's the beast man. You know, like he says in Planet of the Apes, beware the beast man. Went through that and sort of correlated it with every single line every single sentence correlated with an actual scripture so they know he knows mm -hmm. electric knows um, and he knows that he has but a short time so these things are stirring up because updates as well that they're now throwing some a lot of money i was about to say some in terms of you know in terms of this bugged out dirty filthy fake currency they're throwing a lot at him the him being Elon musk to now compete again. So that competition kind of thing is the knowledge. And I'm glad that this is the case because I remember I made it very clear in one of my videos that there could be updates of this technology, but we stand on what we say that it's still RFID technology. It's still something to do with an actual physical cutting. These words, they're all linked back together. You know, if you just, if you want to just go straight to it, Brother Mashal, Revelation 13 and 16. And just before that, we'll get Revelation 12, 12. You may mention it. So therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the... Okay, inhabitants but don't interrupt you. Sorry, can you start verse 11? Revelation 12 and 11. And they overcome him. In fact, we should start at 10. Mm -hmm. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power, well, it says of our God of the mm -hmm. is in the power of his Hamashiach or Christ the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accuse them before our power day and night. And this is the same or similar as Isaiah 14. Where that man, everyone's looking at him like, oh, is that it? This is the man out of the whole. Come on, man. Next verse, Revelation 12 and 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. That's the elect. The elect are going to they're gonna suffer. Because this is going to be a thing that's going to be mandatory. Whether it's mandatory to have it in your head or in your hand, it's still a mandatory concept. When you, in your left shoulder, your right shoulder, uh, in your, in the back of your hamstring, Wherever anything like that. Just because you know, you're not going to, oh, well, maybe if I take it in my kneecap, it'll be okay. Well, you try that. <laughs> Good. Remember, it, it, that's, that's tempting the Lord, really, at this point, man. If, if you... Uh, if you, if, you, if you acknowledge that it's a wicked thing to do and you, you try that, Hena it might says, be jakes to do that, you know. Gehenna said, God doesn't care if you take a microchip. 
And that's a fucking lie, man. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore, I judge ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Woe well, to the, the devil, world and them that dwell therein. Okay. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, see, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Right. And yeah, and um and Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, he's gonna deliver the elect from this because the elect uh, they're not gonna love the lives in this world, they're going to reject the things of this world that it's, that you're gonna be promised to live in all the luxuries of this <laughs> of this world if you if you you know you conform to him is what he's promising you, which is of course is he's a deceiver, he's a devil. I mean we're wrath, he's lying. And Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai is gonna deliver those people out at that time, of course. As it reads again, you know, he knows he has but a short time, so he's gonna do whatever he can to stow these things up to get as many of the wicked as and make the persecution of the saints come um as um um as a, a what's the word like gradual because then anyway, that's in a way that the the and it's like mm -hmm. it's likened to a serpent, like an anaconda, as they call it, the anaconda plant. It's a gradual Coiling thing, it slowly coils in and just choking you up. Constricted thing. Yes, it over constricted. That's the thing that's so, let's get into Revelation 13 and 16. And this he, and it's talking about Esau, Edom, specifically the rule of the Pharaoh over Babylon the Great, which the world ignorantly knows as the United States of America, which is really the dis divided state, the divided condition of Babylon. Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a charagma in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that word, you know, you've got Matthew, Luke, John, and someone else. You, you don't want to say that word too much. Uh, Revelation 13 and 17. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the charagma or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And, and that word charagma, no, the word, the word charagma, actually the root word of that word is the word charax, which goes into, uh, well, the word, well, it goes into things like a pail or a steak. I'll, like I'll read steak. the um, charagma and then we'll go into that. Okay. So Haragma, Mr. G, you, can you do that, please? It's 5480. Can you do the voice? <laughs> it's like a strong, <laughs> strong G, 5480, Haragma, Haragma. <laughs> this is a stamp, an imprinted mark. Oh, we'll call it an imprinted M, right? When I say M, I'm talking about that. A stamp, an imprinted M of the M stamped, stamped on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. As we know there's many anti, anybody who is anti the Messiah is anti-Christ, because <laughs> that's what the word Christ is. It's not talking about, we'll, we'll leave that, we'll leave that. I don't <laughs> want to long it out unnecessarily. <laughs> the M branded upon the horses, thin carved, sculpture, graven work of idolatrous images. Right, eight times it's translated as M, once it's translated as graven. All right, so it's, it was uh, sons of thunder going off going all yeah, the way off on that of course and it's the thing is, is we know that an, an idolatrous image is something that isn't just you know drawn on a piece of paper or something like that or you know likening to a stamp or like you know like an ink stamp we know that it's talking about things that are sculptured things that are formed with a, a craft a crafty man such as Esau the crafty cunning man and you know this word haragma when it goes into things like scratching and an etching that has a root word to it, which I mentioned, which your brother Masha wanted me to bring this out first, which is obvious because you know we were reading this scripture, so that's and this is the word that's used in this scripture, haragma. And then the word harax is the root word, it's the word steak or pale, which is going into the actual cutting thing. Now you can see how it goes from this, it, it goes in this scripture, it mentions this word, and then it has a root word which is similar, harax, but it goes into a steak or a pale. Okay, some of that cuts. Harax, if you're ready. I've, I've, I'm actually reading it, but you can read actually. It's better on yours because I'm using my laptop. I'm no, using the, the word, you know, the word Bible soft, software thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought. So Strong's G5482, Harax. Harax. It says, a pale or stake, a palisade, a palisade or rampart, pales between which earth, stones, trees, and timbers are heaped and packed together. At once is translated as trench. And they use the they use a charax to administer the thing, mm -hmm. you know, the little potion, which again, we don't talk about too much. Mm -hmm. I, you know what's beautiful too is like, well, it, it mentions the word trench going to borders and, and what, you, what you do is with, with charaxes, you would make borders to mark territory. 
and property. And that's exactly what this is all about. If they have this, if they have this, this fish and chips in you, they're doing that to get all the information of you in you, and they can monitor you and have and track you down, have you have you completely under their thumb, and you willingly do that, having that is you taking that, taking that mark, being the property of them. No, and just to clarify, you know, because Jake will be real simple. We're not saying it's literally fish and that, you know, read between the fish. You have yeah. to use special words on here because he's, he's, you know that he had a short time. He's coming down with great wrath, you know, giving us marks and strikes. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, a lot of people the actual mark. Right, right. I don't want to examine. And, you know, nevertheless, anybody who, who, gets, who gets caught up in this, they're going to get that, they're going to, they're going to get heavy judgment, man. Simply put, it's you know, this is Revelation, a Revelation chapter 14, verse 11. And this, I'll start verse 10. Nine, okay. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his charagma in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture. And, you know, it's likened to a strong drink, you know, like without any chaser which is quite strong and can burn you. And they're going to drink up that burning indignation Yahweh has. That's their portion. It says, um, into the cup of his indignation, as it reads, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. It says, and the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the mark in his name. Because, you know, people are going to worship the likeness, the resemblance of, of Rome, which America takes up. They're going to look at this whole thing as a progressive movement, you know. I might have to do a video on it, an individual I spoke to. You know, I might have to do a video on an individual I spoke to who even, who even said this is something that she considered a, um, a progressive thing, you know. If the world's getting better with this technology, which is ridiculous. Convenient. Convenience yeah, but, is hard to push it. I mean, come on, how can we, why do you need to, why do you need to be that convenient for yourself? What's, what's wrong with the setup right now that you have to find this absurd manner of convenience where you got to do this? Anyway, so what, put five keys on a keychain. That's how, how inconvenient, how right? <laughs> how inconvenient. <laughs> I've got this Psalm 9 and 15. The heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made. In the net which they hid is their own foot taken. So they'll think that they've got the upper hand. But just like every classic film, you know, they're winning, they're winning, they're winning just till the last moment. And right at the last, you know, the underdog prevails and Jake is the underdog. Oh, Jake is the underdog. It's a mighty yeah. fall. Yeah, people like, I can't believe it. It's like kind of like Star Wars. Bro. Like, um, if you have like a, like the, what was number four called? Was it called, oh man, whatever number, I think it's like a new hope, right? Number four. I have no idea, bro. I've never seen it. Okay, lucky. Uh, number four, I believe it. Yeah, I believe it's called the New Hope. It's another thing. It's called a, a, a new faith, a new hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the new world <laughs> where the Death Star oh, yeah. got destroyed, and you know they were they had their army, they had the chariots that were flying around, and they all came together, and they 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 they, they uh battled against those who were practicing the dark side, and then mm -hmm. they were they were destroyed. The, the place and they had a, a massive destruction. There was nowhere to be found again. The, the Death Star. They tried building and building again. The Death Star, didn't they? They were building, but the Most High is going to bring out Esau's destruction. And that's Do that's something. The Revelation Say again, brother. Seven or seventeen. Seven or seventeen. Oh, the dragon and his angel. Oh, okay, okay. I, I just got this real quick. Be. Romans nine and seventeen. For the Perfect. Scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up that I might shew my power in thee, and right. my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So like the brother just said, <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's perfect, man. He's been given such power that, oh, he can never form. Every single rascal empire has fallen. So what's different about this one? Okay. It's, it's the, ba <laughs> the basis, man, as well. And yeah. these, these scriptures are all about the Edomites and the Israelites. And if you've noticed, you know, whenever, whenever you say the full name for E, you know, the, the Domites, when you're red E, when you say that, it comes up like it's a blanked out swear word. So what's going on? What, what I'm for that YouTube? What's that all about? But anyway, this guy, Pharaoh, you know, he's raised up so far that it's going to be like, oh, man, he, 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 you'll be so, you wish, you wish he would fall, but you just can't see it. But we can see it, you know, we walk by faith, 
Not by sight, but you still have to be a man of vision. Okay. This is uh, Exodus 50 and 3. Yahweh is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. And, you know, right, Yahweh has that. I, I, he's remembering what the wicked is doing. He's not forgotten everything. He's seen everything that's going on. He sees that these works that they're doing are, are unrighteous. And that it's, it's only all he's doing is deceiving those that were meant to be deceived. The most I wanted people to go into the path of darkness to destroy them because that's their that's what they essentially glory in that he's he's gonna, he's going to lead them in their fault based on based on their work too. It's like are we we all judged by our works. Why how could they not get get away with you know? This is a uh, Psalm seven and. Um, and um, verse 11, the Most High judges the righteous and the Most High is angry with the wicked every day. So the Most High has a spirit of war in him, you know? And just like in Star Wars, they kept trying to build the Death Star and they did build it, but then it got destroyed again and again. And that's what's happened to Esau's kingdom, you know? that's You can see that it's <laughs> he's trying his best to keep building up and raising it, but it's all going to lead to his downfall. And he's he's actually orchestrating a lot of his downfall, you know? Odo, Odo ab chaos means order out of chaos. So he's initiating his own chaos only only to try to create this fake order so he's so in other words he's already plotted his deceptive nature of giving this antidote this remedy for the problem before the problem happened that he caused in the first place and people are buying into it see how, see how crafty this that? man is see how crafty how Hegelian dialectic say one more time brother is that what they call it the Hegelian dialectic i've never heard of that i don't think can you google that real quick about yeah, of course uh, can you tell me how to spell it <laughs> Oh yeah, no, <laughs> I could try. All right, search someone like H A G E L L I A N. It's not that, but I'm sure it'll come up on that. It's yeah, Hegelian dialect, dialect, dialectic. It's not here. Hegelian dialectic, a noun, philosophy, an interpretive method in which the contradiction between a proposition thesis and its antithesis is resolved at a higher level of truth. My goodness, you make sense out of that, my brother? One more time, bit by bit. It says, philosophy, an interpretive method in which the contradiction between a proposition and its antithesis is resolved at a high level of truth. Who wrote that, bro? Yep. I to my understanding, <laughs> and lean that to your own understanding. It's not a biblical thing. It's an extra biblical thing. But from what I've, how I've been presented with it, I could be going all the way off. But I understood it as someone presents a problem, you know, they create it themselves, they come up with the, this, the, the reaction happens automatically you know, by whoever it's um, imposed upon. And then the person that created the problem you know, comes up with a solution to act like the fucking hero. And that's exactly what E does. Now, if it's not called a Hegelian dialectic, we'll just call it E's dialectic. Because that, that is the thing. He's creating a problem, you know, all these conveniences. It was never a problem. Why, when was that a problem? And that's apparently a problem, but he's got the perfect solution, but it's going to end up killing you. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's exactly what, that's exactly what Esau wants to do. He wants to come and pretend that he, 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 he's very, very good at, at making you actually live in this, live in your own, this own, um, this imaginary world where you, you can just trust in him all the time and not, not question the things that he does. And this is a, this is a Ecclesiasticus. Uh, chapter 12 and verse 10, never trust an enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is wicked. Not everybody can see the iron, you know. That sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. Not everybody can see the rust on the iron uh, of this of this devil. What you she's trying to wipe it. And then you can't, you know, some people they can't see it. Some people were meant to see it, you know. Verse 11, though he humbled himself and go crouching, you see, that's what he does. He comes all humble and stuff, comes all like of a lower state, coming to you all kind and, and sweet words, he comes up to you. And he will, he will tell yeah, you, you know, if you trust in me, you'll get this, you'll get that. And people say, why would we not trust him? I mean, he's looking out for us. Look, this problem happened because of such and such, test, which apparently has nothing to do with you. So now he's giving you a solution. That must mean that he's a hero. Why wouldn't this be anything more than him being a hero? Look, he's, he's such a happy guy. He's, he's a good person. I'm sure, I'm sure he, he's going to go to heaven. <laughs> All this shit that people in the world say is so sick. <laughs> Are we are we able to pull up the Hegelian dialectic in layman's terms? Because I'm interested whether that is the, the uh, yeah. I, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm be real. I'm I'm I can't gloss past it too well. I might have to type it verbatim layman's terms as well. But, uh, okay. It it it. Uh, okay. No surprise. It gave me the same definition first. 
אוקיי. And by the way, the time limit is gone now. In terms of my, what I was talking about earlier, I'm good. Oh, okay, okay. Of... Yeah, I think it's hard to make a video on, for just 20 minutes these days, man. Okay, I think this one, oh, hold on. It's lucky, this might be it, you know. Adwan Rataza, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Rataza. So this video says, first we should clarify. Uh, hmm. This might have to be a separate video if I can I can get on this. Yeah. Just because this, you know, there's some reason it's so difficult for me to find some of that isn't. It's just loud, just loud, man. More, more than we'll hit it. Oh, some, you'll hit it, I'll hit it. Yeah, anyways, it's lucky for that, for the brothers and sisters watching. I do want to just finish this anyway. Yeah. The Ecclesiastes 12 and 11. Though he cumble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. Thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. See, he's... It's just it's still better than that metal. It's the, it's, he's not he's not been purified. He's not meant to be. He's meant to be like the way he is right now. The Lord set it up that he's going to be the wicked one, you know. And so what can we do about it, man? If it if he's crooked, can we make him straight? <laughs> no, uh, man. he's made like that. He's like, get that scripture, the crooked serpent. Oh, crooked serpent. Yeah. I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I'll, actually, you, you get it real quick. I, I'm driving. Oh, you're driving now? Okay, okay, sloppy. Let me get it. So, so I was able to move and then we've got more time as well. Is that what you were like? Hey, the time is short. <laughs> I mean, okay. Did you manage to get um, 12 and 17? Uh, of of, his, of about, Ecclesiastes. Um, no, no, sorry, Revelation. Where it talks about no, he's, he's um, war in heaven. Uh, no, I did not. I'll do it now, actually, instead. I've got so many scriptures now. You kind of relied on me now, now you're driving. <laughs> Revelation 12 and 17. And it says, uh, And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments oh, of the five. Oh, oh, hold That's... on, hold on. Women have seed, brother. <laughs> Women have seed, brother. <laughs> which keep the commandments of the Most High and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, which is the spirit of prophecy. As it says in Revelation 9 and 10. And these things right now, we're, we, you know, we are afraid to breaking down the prophecies and truth for you to see. And when it when it comes to pass, you'll see, man, you'll that the man of the Lord will be will be manifest very clearly in those days. This is the book of um I believe it's Isaiah. Is you talking about Isaiah 27 and 1? Uh possibly read it, please. Did it say crooked, crooked serpent? That's the one I think. Just say I believe I'll Isaiah 27 and verse 1. Says in that day, Yahweh with his with his sword and great and strong sword shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the right. sea. And who is that crooked serpent? Esau, Edom. Right, he's more subtle than any beast of the field. Mm. He's 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 very he's subtle. the man of sin. He's the man of sin. Can't. And it says, verse uh, Ecclesiastes 12, verse 12, Set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place, neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to, uh, to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be, and be pricked therewith. And the thing is, he's, 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 he'll overthrow you, all right, when you, when you keep next to him, he said, as it reads, that he'll take thy seat. And ultimately, he wants to take everything. He wants to take you as a possession for him. He wants to rule over you completely. And that's why, you know, again... What Henry saying yesterday, isn't it? How, how the northern tribes treat him. You know, they gave him enough. They gave him the skills. They taught him everything he needed to survive. And what did he give them? Smallpox. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. See how, see how, see how wicked these people are, man? These are the people our people trust, man. Every day you should be having a better... I was about to word it poorly. I was going to say a better relationship of hatred. How about like this? Every day you're supposed to, you're supposed to have. Yeah, man. I guess that's not too bad to say. A better, yeah, I like that. You know what? Fuck it, man. Better relationship with the concept of hatred. Learn to hate even more daily. You have to learn to hate in this thing. Have a spirit of war, you know, because we are we're, we're at a spiritual war. It's a spiritual war right now going on, and with we we we're, we're, we're battling. A spiritual. Come on, we're battling these demons, man. These spiritual assholes. 
<laughs> these these freaking demons, these absolute these these serpents that come at you all subtly to, to try to tell you to to take the uh, take the such and such rocks, fish and chips, and it's all for them to, to rule over you to make them proper. In fact, let's 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 look, let's just uh, let me just get this point out. Uh, I've got a lot to say now, actually. So just wait for me. I just got call my phone. No worries, no worries. I got a lot to say now. Anyway, uh, this yeah, is. Uh, so Revelation chapter 13 and then verse 18. Here is the wisdom, here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the east, the B to the E A S T. Uh, again, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score six. Our brother Machai read this earlier. Now, the it, this of course is written in Greek and the strong G 5516. Shy, size, stigma, and that means 666 in Greek. But now each of these letters. The and the ancient. I don't know why. I don't really understand why in the Blue Letter Bible guy, uh, in the Blue Letter Bible guy. Let me try again. Go in the Blue Letter Bible app and you press the sound. The individual says she see basically each letter. This one here is he, then xi, and then stigma. And he, um, this this letter is as an X, and then there's one in the middle. Which looks kind of like a weird P kind of thing, and if you're a bug out, you say it looks like Allah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what um, what do you call him, Joey B? Right, Joey Bieber had on his uh, campaign. You know, for oh yeah, yeah, the water, the water. Yes, he had the capital version of it, and um, this right here as well. You know, these these things have uh, these um letters. They're symbolic as well, just like our Hebrew has symbols. Now, uh, we're not going to share the screen, but go and look up this word, okay? See, I actually have videos on it too. So if you tell me, check my channel, when you see anything to do with the MOTB, you'll notice that this letter actually is um, a derivative of the Hebrew, sa or samak, which you notice is like a peg, like a, like a, okay? And now that's exactly what this, this image is symbolizing here. It, in this in this number, his vibration he pushes out is having a corrupt, marking property and cuttings into people, making borders for his territory. That's what he wants to do to you, man. And what's the last one? Stigma. Stigma. This is a, this is a day, man. Stigma goes into a mark, things that's been sized inside someone. And this was actually something that was done to soldiers and servants to, to be marked as property. That's exactly what he's supposed to do. The all, be able to pull that. Of course, and yeah, of course, but that on you. Now, of course, that's the perfect thing to bring out. This is Deuteronomy chapter 15. And uh, I think I should just go straight to the point. I'll go straight to the point. In context, you know, it's talking about a servant that wanted to stay with his uh with his uh his brother as a servant for uh, forever verse seven to do our brother e forever forever that's the thing forever. that's what that's why people would take this 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 fish and chip so they can actually um they can um be um be the basically a servant forever they're saying they're bound down to him man be be <laughs> be a master forever so i don't have to have more than six keys on my on my key ring it's ridiculous, man. See, that's... Yeah. It's basically like, what yeah. the hell, man? Uh -huh. It's not even just that, of course, but that's that. That's not pretend. That's actually a very, very common reason why people do it. And that's why it's been beta tested. People have actually tried it to be all like, yeah, it's convenient. I prefer it more. Everything's on my in my hand. And there's a the deal. It's like, when people do it as well, they're going to do it for this, because they think they're being... They're, they're they're being safer for everybody. They feel like they're heroes. He's so such a such a cunning man. He's making you feel like you're so special and you're so amazing and you're self righteous as hell, really, in your head. And you're not even righteous at all, but you consider yourself to be righteous by being safe because you're 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 not spreading the see you on the weather and all that kind of stuff. Deuteronomy yeah. chapter fifteen and verse seventeen. Then thou shalt take an owl and thrust it through his ears, what you do to the servant, man. An owl. Now you know you know cattle's right. When what cattle's? We're supposed to rule over the cattle. They're not smart enough, man. <laughs> Just go about the business, man. All right, we wear rulers over them. We take care of them, all right? And we we let the vegans you say that, man. Man, to, to hell with those dudes, man. You put those a lucky Hebrew vegans. You 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 know you take a you take a you take an owl. Okay, you take something like a piercing and you pierce it into their ear. That's exactly what's going on right now, man. You take it all, 
and you thrust it through his ear into the door, and he shall be thy servant forever, and also unto thy maid servant thou shalt do likewise. And you see, that's exactly that's that this is basically the, like a what's the word really? It's like a parallel concept right now with Esau Eden with this fish and chips. And uh, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, and verse uh I'll go down straight to verse. Uh, actually, no, 13 is a good one, man. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? You, uh, you, you're going up to the serpent, trying to touch it. You're trying to be Steve Irwin up in this bitch, going up to it, like, look at this, look at a snake. <laughs> trying to do it, get all hyped up and, like, go crazy. Or whatever Esau does in America. Oh, dude, it's a snake, bro. Let's, like, take the stick and, like, put on a stick and then, like, take a picture of it, like, around a leg and then, like, see if it, like, will, like, stay on me when I do a handstand and all this shit. Who's by gonna America, Babylon. Who's gonna pity that stupid idiot? Idiots, man. Who will pity a charm that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beast? There's well, so one personally. Hey, not me, man. That's because you you gotta be, you know, these animals, especially in this flesh, they will mess you up. And it says, So one that goes to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins. Who will pity? Because you know, you know, if this, this man right here, he, I, come on, man. I mean I gotta say that. You know, I feel like this is a perfect moment to make reference to the testimony from the brother Salahi. I can't remember the brother, maybe you can. When the gorilla bowed to him. Oh, okay, okay. I actually don't know that brother's name. But for water for bringing that up, actually, my brother. It's actually, that's what came to my mind, actually, is that, you know, we, we was ruling over the animals at one point, and we will again, time of Adam should come again. But yeah, right now, we're comment, I mean, you that. Can. Can, can, you know, uh, yeah, the brother from GMS Holland, he, uh, he took his children to the zoo because they wanted to see the animals. And a, a gorilla, a silverback gorilla, if you, if you haven't seen a silverback and gorilla in real life, if that if that glass wasn't there, brothers, <laughs> that is a terrifying animal, man. That is a dominant, that's a scary animal. Beautiful animal, one of my favorites, man. Just like how every scripture is one of my favorites. I've got, a lot of, I've got a lot of favorite animals, but I love gorillas, man. But yeah, man, man. Like beautiful, it, like strong said, animal. <laughs> Go on, what you say? Like, uh... If, if all the scripts aren't your favorite, you're kind of going off, man. <laughs> yeah, man. No, um, yeah, obviously, you might have one specific one. I like that one. Come, you have ones Is that, that you have ones that you, you that stand out of your life, of course. But oh, essentially, this whole role is our favorite thing. You know, it's like it's, it's the role, man. It's the bread of life. Yeah, the script of the word. It's our favorite I'll meal, you. man. That bread of life. Mm. Excuse me. And the gorilla it was bound down his Can head. You me all right. It, it was a bit it was a bit weird earlier but so i'm pretty sure everyone still heard you <laughs> like everyone will everybody hear you. tells me talking that <laughs> <laughs> i'm pretty uh, sure everyone cool, will cool. hear you when this is put up um the the gorilla bound down put his head uh put his head down looked at the brothers put his head down again and then bowed all the way down to show reverence to the brothers wow man that's that <laughs> A silverback gorilla, these are, man. These are, these are things like them sort of suck here. These sort of spiritual things. Um, this might even be um, not that specifically, but the whole. Now, this is what you can do with the haragma. You know, this is, you can get the sort of respect, the sort of reverence. You know, like the fairy tale Bible talks about. Well, this is it in real life. You know, we're dealing with real life. And they're the sort of things, the spiritual. Now, what was it? It wasn't um, it Mr. Neuro and Musky Neuro. Wasn't he saying that he's, he's able to heal all these different sorts of conditions and yep. deal with that? Well, what is, it, what is the gospel? You know, when you read about that, the good news, the glad tidings to bring deliverance to the captives, you know, healing, comfort to the brokenhearted, like a healing to them that are sick. Now he's trying to do the gospel on the left-hand side, man, with the haragma. That's why they even said it on the, the gospel of the Vanessa. They're going to say the same thing for the gospel of the fish and chips, man. Yes, these are all key words mm -hmm. in case you... But you can guess what starts would be. Um, yeah. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 15. For a while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. In his heart, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep yeah. with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. He just wants, he just wants to, to use your ass, man. That's all he wants. He wants, to, he wants to throw you into that pit, take what he can from you, and then it just throw you out like it's like, it's like when they're talking about the, um, Mike's bugging out. 
You know the brother. <laughs> your mic's your mic's from like Manosphere, a red pill guy. Is it? It just it literally starts to be better now. No, no, it's going off. <laughs> Yo, I won't even speak for now. Wait till you get better reception. Don't speak just yet. Please ask us 12 and yep. 17. Yo, yo, that sounds better. Speak I again. Who I am. All right. So, no, just, I don't even speak. Hello, what? Hold on. Yo. Well, the Masha is a bit, it's a bit far away. Hold on. Actually, you know what, Masha? Let me just mute the brother because I think it's just a bit laggy. And uh, I'll just mute him for the sake of it. Okay. So, this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 17. It's lucky for that. Uh, he's the brothers, you know, in transit. Uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 17. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. See, that, that's where he's at. He's at his first place in the race to, to go against you, man. And it says, um, and though he pretend to help thee, he actually undermine thee. He will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance. And you'll see it, man. You'll see it that they're, they're coming all sweetly, then the countenance drops upon you. The wickedness, man, that they, they truly have in their heart, man. That's essentially why we have to trust in Yahweh Ba'a Shem Yahweh Shai. But please ask us 13, verse 14, love the Lord all thy life and call upon him for thy salvation. And to call upon him, you have to call upon the right name, man. And the same people who are doing all this wickedness to you, man, they're not going to be able to, uh, they're not going to be able to give you the true names for salvation, man. They don't know the names, man. And there's, uh, how many names are there? You can't just say Yeshua, Yehoshua, Yehuka. Yehoshua, but you gotta say the, you gotta say the one and not true name of the Messiah, man. Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, the name of the Son. Acts four and twelve. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And that's what we must do, man. Have faith in Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. That's why it says, you know, they were redeemed. Uh, the one we read earlier, Revelation twelve and eleven, uh, I believe it said that we the the um. They didn't say it verbatim of the elect, but it's referring to the elect that overcame by the blood of the Lamb. Okay. They overcame all the stuff, the devil, by the blood of Yahweh, uh, Yahweh Shai, uh, Yahweh Shai, that was shed for the elect. That's essentially how uh, the righteous are going to be delivered. Uh, that's how deliverance shall happen, rather. You there, Brother Masha? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, perfectly now. So cool. All right, so luck, yeah. Do we actually have anything from the article to bring up? Or are we not um, risking reading? Uh, let me, let me. Because, you know. Like the title. Don't go into it, but just the title. Yeah, yeah. Cause, just with keywords, of course, which you're very good at. Yeah, because, uh, you know, this, uh, let me just type it. I need to type it. Uh, this is the title. Obviously, this, Lord, uh, Lord, 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 it should already be up there. Yeah, you might have seen it on screen, but we're right now we're in the past, you know, we lot are in the future. Sure. I'm trying to get exactly okay, okay. There you are. Oh, lucky. I did find something else though to bring up. Hold that to the side. What's the key words again, brother? Do you know? Keywords. Um, such synchron, isn't it? I must have sent it to the uh, group. For some reason, that's not help. That's not even bringing what I want. You can synchron. It was Business Insider, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, the words, well done. Because there's some keywords for you. Okay. You can hear me all right, though, brother. I can't. I do. I do. We just, cool. I don't know. Okay. Oh, this might be it now. I just found it. It's lucky. Got it. Uh, I mean, I didn't, but I found this one. This twenty-person biotech firm just beat e um, EM's newer link, beating the OK to test brain chip implants in humans with paralysis. See, wow. see. That's Have you noticed as about. well? Have you noticed it's always it's always it's always paralysis? And yes, it says it right here: six patients. Ooh, the chip will be studied in six patients. The Unbelievable. Fish. All right. 
this uh, this one here as well. It's called the um, implantable lead to the rain uh, computer interface BCI. Okay. This N-Link is going to be used. Um, EM previously used N-Link uh, fish and chip in a monkey, which then played uh, video games with its mind. And they did other stuff with his mind. See, there's all this stuff. All this stuff is for miracles. They're just trying to show you the miracles they can they can make happen for you, man. And it's all to, it's all like sweet words. It's all amazing stuff. It's awesome, right? And that's going to look idiots to do it, especially Jake. Like, when Jake heard video games in mind, he already got super hyped up. Guarantee that, man. You imagine that. Ping pong. Oh, my God. I can play 2K with my earlobes. Shit like and that. There'll man. be some, some like weird... It's, it's literally some sci-fi nonsense, man. It's not nonsense, you know what I mean? It comes to pass. But I'm talking, it doesn't make sense. It's, it's not sensical to take such a... This is, this is the thing, but even if it happens, it's still like... No, sorry, even when it happens, even or even if something happens, something is clearly in the world, it's still nonsense. Like shit, like bestiality happens in the world. It's still nonsense. Jake, just because this happens, it doesn't mean it's cool. It doesn't mean you have to go for it. Again, not everything is for you, Jake, okay? Because he has to imagine that scripture. I'm gonna read it, give that it's the soul. Yeah, yeah, so I was gonna bring it up. I was gonna bring that up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ecclesiasticus chapter 37, verse 27. This is my son, prove thy soul in thy life and see what is evil for it, and give not that unto it. For all things are not profitable for all men, neither hath every soul pleasure in everything. Mm -hmm. That's something you need to understand, man. Not everything is for you. Okay, not everything is righteous, not everything you you gotta go up in it, man. You know what I'm saying? Be not unsatiable in any dainty thing, nor too greedy upon meat. And you see... Unsatiable. So, oh, so, sorry, man. Unsa unsatiable. Let's get that word as well, satiable, real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It reminds me of sad as well. Oh, yeah. Overflow. Leaping. <laughs> <laughs> that she ate means to fill, to full, uh, full, sorry, to fill, full, satisfied. Satisfied means to, to be full, to be filled. So like as in to, from satis enough, okay, and it says um, for all things are not profitable for men. Need to have every oh so okay I'm too verse twenty nine. Be not satiable in any dainty thing, nor too greedy upon meat. Okay, so again you know topic of greedy. Whenever I hear greedy, the first the face of the greedy like when I say when I when I say the word greed greedy. I just see that demon's face, specifically that demon's face, because he just looks fucked. That Rockefeller dude, what was it? Is it him? I'm thinking of just any of those damn eating my any of the elites, man. They just I, those faces come to men straight away because they're just greedy assholes, man. They're the, they're seriously wicked. They're the ones who these people are gonna bow down to when they take the fish and chip, because people are going to take this, man. Don't be fooled to think that it's only a few trials and then it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be you know Audi five thousand. This shit, that. it's gonna happen. I'm gonna go back to no more. But yeah, back to normal, all that stuff. <laughs> it's going to be, as they say, the new normal, which is basically their attempt of making the NWO. But let's be honest, man, the real new world order, okay, is the Daniel 7 and 18 new world order. Daniel chapter 7, verse 18 says, But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom ever, even ever, and ever. And there's not going to be any of this stuff again, man, of Esau's this bullshit. Got plan. He's gonna keep building. He's gonna try build his Death Star. There's nothing you can do. Hey, another Star Wars reference. I even brought this out with the video I posted. Yeah, I wanted to say. Oh, <laughs> I, I never even to... realized you watched it. Oh, I used to love it, man. I used to love it. So I'll be honest. Sometimes it's still like I think about it. and I realize that I have with a spiritual eye. It's really good. It's actually a really good movie, man. It brings out there's a lot, a, lot of films, a lot of films that. Sorry. No, it's okay. No, go ahead. I was going to say that there's a lot of films that when you get into this word, you, know, you can begin to see parallels. And even if it's not that deep, you know, you, you know, when you be watching films, scripture should be coming to your mind, man, if you're in the spirit. And scripture should be coming to your mind, thinking, well, that's off. You know, well, that sort of reminds me of this. Mm -hmm. And that's what it means to meditate in the precepts. You know, not just it's a, you're a worldly guy until it comes to you know, a certain... A clock or whatever. All oh, right. <laughs> yeah. What? What is it? Um, no, I think like... the brother, brother Henry said that. No, he was like, well, with regards to Alize, he's he's a he's a he's a priest in daytime, and he's out there clubbing and doing all his rap music videos at night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
And then that, of course, you know, you're supposed to meditate in the scriptures, you know, just like it says in, um, when it goes into, um, uh, in Psalm 1 and, 1 and verse 2, I saw one, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of Yahweh, and in his law do he meditate day and night. Day and mm -hmm. night. How does yeah, it? yeah, perfect, man, perfect. And you this know, is sort of turning to be more than the um, Haragma. Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, that's not a problem. You know, flowing in the spirit. You can't, you can't stop a living water, you know. You can't freeze it, bro. Yeah. You just have to flow with it. Come on. This is the wisdom of Solomon, you know, because again, it's just like with, um, just like with Star Wars, man. When Obi Wan Kenobi was telling him, <laughs> him to, this is like the new brownie. <laughs> was was in Star Wars. Obi Wan Kenobi was controlling his mind. He had he had spiritual power, where mm -hmm. he was able to turn someone's heart to a different direction. Man, he had control over what that man's decision was going to be. I've I was seen, gonna, I, I know to the, do that. the Force in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what. Oh, that's what Super, Superman and all of that. Are they perfect for for demonstrating spiritual power? Because where do you think they got the idea from, man? The scriptures. Of course, He's, he saw. He knows it, man. He knows what's going on. He knows what's going on. <laughs> this is, um, <laughs> Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 7, it says, um, For the spirit of Yahweh filleth the world, and, and that which containeth all things hath knowledge of the voice. And the most high spirit, he, he'll, just, he'll move things around his direction because he can do that if he, feels, if he feels such. Or he can ignore it and he can reject you. And nevertheless, the spirit's always there. <laughs> Guess what, man? Everything is his power, his control, man. And that that's... That, that that bit in Star Wars, if you brothers know what I'm talking about, which the majority of you brothers would know about that, that's a perfect example of how much power we're going to have. You don't even need to use a, a, a strap, man. You know, if Esau points a gun at you, you can use spiritual power. He turns that thing and blows his own brains out. What's that? Um, Isaiah 54 and 17. Let's get that. Isaiah 54 and 17. Which is, I believe that's that no one weapon to prosper. Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 17 says, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Because they can't judge those, because those are spiritual judges or things, but judge no man, you know, because they try to judge it, they try to go on it, but we're the ones that are doing the works, and we have we, we're the ones that back up the scriptures, man. Everything that we say is through the through the oracles of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, first Peter 4 11, man. Is it 8 and the 20? Apologists, the apologists of, of Christendom, so called, they're not defending the scriptures, yeah. they're not defending the doctrine. Especially not vocab. All he's got is it's like detraction or um accusation, accuser of the brethren. He's got his accusations of about why the Israelites are off. You rarely ever hear him going on any other, you know, quote unquote Christian doctrine he uses heretical. But he, he knows that it's taking it's taking precedence, and that's a fulfillment of Ezekiel 37 in certain verses, that all camps will be on every single corner. And that's what's that's the fear. I'm all, oh, what's the I don't know what the scripture is, man. In fact, I do. Is it Exodus 1 and 9? Paraphrase it. Um, I think he is Exodus 1 and 9. I can't paraphrase it. Exodus <laughs> chapter 1 and verse 9. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. And now no. we're not more in number. Yeah, that's the one. We're not more in number, but spiritually. You know, they can discern that, the, that it's picking up and the truth is taking hold. That's why they had vocab going to um, certain NBA jakes or like to, I can't remember what it was, like cook, um, collaborate with some people that were going to talk to them because they were hearing about the truth and believing it too much. What oh, devil. Hmm. All these, these people were just, they're just, they're just, they were meant for this, to just be complete reprobate man and to, and to lead takes to, to, to the pit man essentially you know uh let me get this scripture before i get this do you have any scriptures my chart should i just get a few scriptures and close up uh, yeah you can get a few and close up you saw along that i feel if there's anything more we can link back into um you know the harax the haragma hmm. matthew 15 and 14 let them alone they be blind leaders of the blind and if the blind lead the blind both shall fall into the ditch Anybody really is going off is, is those that they don't they don't see it, man. They're blind. No matter what this what if you're trying to what is it trying to trying to use a covering that is not of this of this word, you're going off, you're blind, you don't see what's going on, man. You're yourself to the pit. I've got a scripture, is it? It's either Isaiah 30 or Isaiah 31. 
they take they, they take covering but not of me. Or they take counsel. Ooh, I think it's Isaiah 31. Shadow of Isaiah 31. So that's a wonderful reading, by the way, as well. No, of course, I love you know I love reading, man. Yeah. It's, yeah, it must be it's 30 or 31. You're not wrong, man. I don't believe you anyway. I don't want to tell you, no. I'm, I'm definitely not ah, wrong. Ah, Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to the rebellious children, say the Howard, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin unto sin, which is a, not essentially iniquity. <laughs> And what does the Most High think about those who work iniquity, man? The Most High, let, let's read it. So, Hear them. Psalm 5.5. Five. And we're going to start off for the rap as well. Show you. And just to clarify, in the scripture, it reads in Psalm 5, it says that, to the chief musician upon Nehaloth, a psalm of David. Psalm chapter 5 and verse 4. And it says this, right? It says, for thou art not a power that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight, Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. So Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, he hates these people, man. So what? Blind people leading the blind, he hates them. And Yahweh Shai, he hates them. Because he has his father. And we're about our father's business, man. We, 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 don't, we have hatred to people who go off on that level. It's, it's extremely wicked that we have love for some. And of course, we have love for brothers who do go off in these other camps. But there's some sincere brothers there too. But there's some brothers where it's, it's, it's pretty hard not to hate, let's be honest, you know, you've got some serious demons out there, man. But nevertheless, you know, in the kingdom, we're all going to, there's going to be love, man. That's that's why we got to look at the bigger picture. And rebuke, really rebuke is love. If you don't love you, we will rebuke you. Absolutely. There's also a frustration that comes with that, you know, especially when you perceive it that you know better or you're being... Because if, listen, man, if, if I didn't, if I... If I just let you walk into a pit, did I really love you? And you I just I just literally let you just walk in the pit and then say, Don't do that. What are you doing? You gotta do this, brother. If I just let you do if I had a son and he just walked in front of the road and got run over, is that and I just let that happen? Whoa, come on, man. I'm gonna rebuke him and say, hey, watch out, be careful. Come on, don't be responsible. Look, look at that, man. Look how fast it's going. You don't think that's gonna hurt you? You're gonna talk to him and just let, let him know. You can't do that. You know, you made me very worried. I love you. That's how you're supposed to talk to your son. You're not supposed to let him just go and say, you know, I don't want to hurt his feelings. He's going to get way more things hurt, man, if he gets run over by a car than his feelings for a split second until he grows up and he appreciates you and what you've done for him during that time, man. You're raising them up. And you see, right now, our people are so goddamn stupid. They don't understand that they get taught things that are unconditional love, come as you are. In fact, come as you are is a, is a fake Christian doctrine. Meaning, as in, it's a Christian colloquially, which are fake Christians. It's their doctrine, which is a lie. We have to repent. That's the whole point. Turn back from this, this shit of this world. You know? That's what it's all about, man. And ultimately, that will lead to the actually coming out of the lands we are through deliverance. Other one, Ratazah, of course. And that's, again, man, that's why Yahweh Shai said, let them alone. He didn't say join hand in hand with everyone, even if you don't agree. He said, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. Again, both the blind and the ones that lead the blind are going to fall into that ditch. You know? right? So Bokab's leading. He's going to that damn ditch. I, I won't even say all the names. Anymore. No, all you silly ninjas that are following him. Are you going with him, man? Yeah, man. The Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse 9. And I'll close it out unless you want me to bring, bring some more scriptures. Ah, uh, no, you could. You could, you could. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he hath care for his... Yeah. You know, the, the, I don't believe the breakdown. Right? What, what was that? What was that? Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9. You get 4 and 15, please. Yeah, of course. Wisdom of Solomon 4 and 15. This is this the people saw and understood it not. Neither laid they up this in their minds that his grace and mercy is with his saint and that he has respect unto his chosen. And of course, the Israelites, as a whole, are chosen, but there's an elect of the elect in this captivity right now. They're not going to buy Esau's crap. They're going to read the Bible. They're not going to buy bull. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that we say, Kal Halal, Awa, Bahasham, Yahawashai, Bahasham, Rocha Kudash. We say, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well over the flock, teaching the 100% truth, laboring his will and doctrine. And say Shalawam Barakath, Lahabachayar, Hagabuya, Yasharala, which means peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. 
Mawath Lababa. Shalom. Shalom.